<coughs> so that's the first thing to do in the canvas of the last Tuesday's election. We're going to not. We're going to wait and not do the rest of it so we can talk about the Hickory election first while you all are here because you may not want to stay for the rest of this tremendously exciting Kansas meeting. Um, all right, so we've got the date set. Um, we need to talk about, and then we need to talk about early voting for that particular election and set up a plan for that, or at least improve a plan for that. Um, what other details do we need to work out for that? For next Tuesday, Larry, what were you what were you thinking? Uh, the early voting, of course, the election date. Right. Uh, we're going to confirm it being September the 18th. I think the board needs to confirm that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Well, that, I, I think that's been duly authorized or set by the city according to their statute. And I don't see any, any reason for us to have an issue with mm -hmm. that. Okay. Particularly since we asked them or I asked them. To pick them <laughs> well, but it really is going to make it easier, I think, for. Everybody. Certainly easier for us, and, and uh, nobody wants to make any mistakes because people are worn out and frustrated. So I'm glad we're doing it that date. We also got the ballot language from the city. And when do we submit that to the state officially? Assuming that we today. Yes, my thought. So, so we need to we need to say I have a couple extra copies of. The Calendar. Who wants who wants to look at the top of that? We need to say as a board that we have accepted or received that language for our ballot and that we're submitting it to the state. Again, I saw no problem with the language. So I thought it was good. Yeah. So you can look that out right for tomorrow. We'll just go ahead and Larry submit that to the state so we get official approval so we can get ballots. And we're we decided to do just the paper ballots, obviously. Mm -hmm. This is a fourth of the resolution. This is what will go to the ballot. Right. I think it's right off of the off of the resolution. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I copy that right off, and today, once the board approves that, okay. this will go to the state, and they can start setting up the program, and hopefully tomorrow it'll go to the printers, so we can get approval from the state on the ballot layout. Okay. The actual layout. Here is a copy of, of a referendum we had before. This room really one copy this. That's why I laid down that copy. Oh, right. It's entitled referendum mm -hmm. in here. This was our constitutional amendment. It would be something similar to that. Yeah, okay. In terms mm -hmm. of the way it's going to look on the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. This mm -hmm. would be a constitutional amendment. Mm -hmm. similar, right. similar to that. Yeah. Four against to be, be yes and no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, I think similar to this constitution. Karen has already moved to. Okay. Approve this amendment. May I ask, uh, may I ask one question? Yeah. When it when it says, I, I just want to verify this because I had one person that asked about this. When it says shall the ordinance to the council members elected only by the voters of their individual wards be approved. Okay, when it says the ordinance, the ordinance has already been uh, written up. No. Okay. It hasn't been It'll be. It would be written in response to the result if the result on this is yes. Okay, and the then who will write that ordinance? The city. Okay. But so could you get, come to it if you don't agree with that? Then can you come to a challenge on that issue? What do you mean? If you don't agree with the ordinance as it's written, as it as is written, written after. by the city. Would that be a legal? Would that have to go to a legal process? Well, I, I, the first answer to that is that we're not in the business of giving legal advice. To I understand that. Yes, so sir. if you were asking that, you'd have to ask a lawyer, Alan, or somebody that's okay. involved. But the, the short answer is that the statute dictates how this procedure works. Um, City's the one that drafts it. I understand as you y'all are the board of elections. I, I understand that, and you are only under the perusal of what is the modus or the the uh, the given rights of the board of elections. But uh, I mean, what what we were hoping is is that the ordinance would revert to the previous ordinance from before 1967. That is not something that, that we, would, that we okay. would have anything to do with, nor is it something, 
I, don't, I mean, I don't think you're on to anything there. Okay. Because I think the statute says the city has to adopt an ordinance right. to basically put into effect the result of the referendum. I think that's basically what the statute okay. says. So I, Cause, I mean, we're as I said, Bria said before, I mean, we're just like looking for the simpler the better. Well, I think that would be input to give to the city if mm -hmm. the answer is yes on the referendum. I think that would okay. be input to give to the right. city when they adopt their ordinance. Okay. All right, so we've all agreed that this language is reasonable and we ought to submit, not that we have a lot of say in this, but we're submitting it to the state, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that way Larry can submit the actual layout of the ballot may be different from this, but I'm sure the wording is going to be the same because there's a way the state lays out ballots and the way it has, to, it has to be printed on, on the ballot for our equipment to read it. Now, as soon as we get a sample ballot back or a proof, I can shoot it to you. Anybody else who wants to see it, you know, as the proof comes back. But it has to be laid out a certain way for the machine to read it. Yeah, it won't look exactly and, like this because the machine yeah. wouldn't read that. <coughs> wouldn't read the and it may not have the numbers one and two on there. And the layout of the ballot mm -hmm. is up to the state board. They, they have authority to, the sole authority to lay out the ballots. Okay. That's because they've got the sole problem. If, it, if the machine doesn't read it, then that's true. They're the people in trouble. All right, now this uh, schedule that you're giving us, Larry, is, is helpful. So if we've got a September 18 uh, yeah. well, election we, day. If September will be the election day, one stop will fall. Back to those days I have Aaron Green. Right. Starting on the, the, tw the 30th. Right. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. By law, it's required to be open that last Saturday <coughs> to 8 to 1. Right. Right. That's the basic times there. Now, the, the August 20th will be the first day to mail ballots for the Hickory election. That's the people that request absentee by mail ballots. Correct. Hickory's election, they do do absentee ballots. Right. So that includes mail and one stop. Okay. And that'll be the first day that we mail ballots provided. Which means we'll we only have ballots. one, I was going to say, we'll only have one meeting as a board to approve those ballots prior to the early voting starting. Yes. And then we'll have the regular next two meetings and then the board meeting the day before the election day to, to approve Perfect. the last mail ballots that come, by mail ballots that come in. That's correct. All right, well, let's talk about we have to approve and submit the one stop or the Early voting is the other way to say that. One stop's the earlier term that people used to use. Uh, the early voting plan or one stop plan we've got to submit to the state. So that plan will go to the board approves it here, it goes to the state, the state has to approve it, and then that approval will come back. We can proceed on with that plan as it goes in. But most of the time, once the board approves it here, the state has not yet seen it turn down anything as long as everything's fair and equal. And of course, the theory is that this early voting is going to be at the rec center. Yes, we and will. Where, and we had talked to Mac about this or not? We have already got the room lined up. Okay. We well, need to an email. She already contacted Mac, and All right, I've contacted him that time is set for those days. Okay. I know, they don't, I know he doesn't love that, probably, but that's the building we need to Normally, one stop site has to be within close proximity of this office. But see, this is just a Hickory election. They have us do primaries just for Hickory and at the Hickory Rectory Four. So I don't see any reason why the state would not approve it. We had conducted that to Hickory Rectory since it's in Hickory. The election is for Hickory. Right. <coughs> now, did we already approve which precincts were going to be open for this election? That's okay. next. Okay. I, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to say that if we hadn't done it. All right. Well, any comments from the board about the early voting plan? Uh, if not, do we approve it and send it on to the state for approval? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. So is the next thing we need to talk about the precincts, Larry? There's 23 precincts. Yeah, I just got one copy. Is it the same as we had discussed? I think so. We, we talked about it before. We just need to do it. Officially. There's a total of 23 precincts involved in, in the city of Hickory. Three of the precincts, one precinct has 10 voters, one has 63 voters, one has 24 voters. I would suggest to the board to move those three precincts 
temporary loco and devoted another precinct. We in turn will write each each individual voter a letter telling them this change and where they should go vote and tell them about three options to vote, vote by mail, in person, or urban election. Yeah. And we have done this past during the city elections with with several cities and towns in the county. That will leave us opening up 20 precincts for election day. So the, the 10 voters of Conover West will go to Springs at the Lutheran Church. And Correct. The, the, the 62 voters in Longview North will move to Greenmont. Yes. And vote at the, at the Senior Citizen Center. Correct. And then uh, the 24 voters in Starktown will go to Sweetwater and vote at that other Lutheran Church. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Reasonable. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I think we approved that too unanimously. Mm -hmm. Okay. The advertising for this, read the statute, one sort of alludes to the fact that if we will, the city's responsible for advertising, then it reverts, refers back to another statute that says, that says that we do it. do it. Yeah. So I would suggest that since we normally do them, that we can, we will do that as far as advertising for them. And that public notice is done, how do we usually do it, just so that people know? This is what I propose to, to send out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to drop the final a little bit to get it on one page. <laughs> By law, it requires the post to tell what, what the election is, what precincts are open, talks about absentee ballots, and other <coughs> dates involved in, in the election. That's what, what it basically says. This is a legal land, and through my experience, it's in the very back of the paper, and nobody reads it. Oh, really? Although, maybe as far as the, the paper might pick person. it up just because this is special and interesting they may actually pick it up. Yeah, they'll, they'll be doing some more articles I'm sure during this process. But this is the required legal act that we required for every election. Okay. And we'd we put this in the Hickory Daily Record, right? Yeah, we have to put it in one newspaper that has general circulation in the county and basically that's the Hickory paper. Mm -hmm. yes. And during the process we sent out news releases to try to keep it on the front page and keep people's interest up. In the law, we have to advertise it three times. That's what the body says published on those dates. That's three times it's required to be published. Right. Yes, sir. Can you come with it, please? I'll have to get another copy. Thank you. Sure. I'll have a seat. Have it here. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh.
unless somebody has any other input, I'd say we yeah, agree that that's fine and we'll yeah. publish it on those dates and mm -hmm. that will satisfy the statutory requirements. <coughs> okay. As far as those absentee meetings that the board's required to do, right. mm -hmm. the board still won't do them, but 815 is the normal doing them. I think we better. You need to have it early, too, don't you? Right. So you can go on down there. So. So those three meetings, those three Tuesdays starting on 28th will be at 8.15 on 28th, the 4th and the 11th. Mm -hmm. And the 17th meeting is required to be at 5 o'clock. And then election day, 7.30 when the, when the polls close before we get together. Okay. That's good. <coughs> Order the ballots. The law requires to do 100%. I guess that's still early voting. Normally, early voting, we do electronic equipment, which knocks down what we normally order. But this time, to, to save a few dollars, we will not use the iVotronics, so we will use paper ballots. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest we, we go back to the 100% ballots for, for the selection as, as law requires, since we're not using electronic. Mm -hmm. We'll end up wasting some paper votes. The law requires the second primary. We ordered 69,000 and used 3,000. That system's got to be changed. What time? There's been some questions about <coughs> PACs being formed. About what? Well, the PACs. Committee. Yep. Uh, we had a conversation with the the campaign finance division in Raleigh. This lady here, Terry Harris, is the one we talked to, and we told her we were going to refer the calls to her as far as the forms needed on this. Right now, I know there's two forms that's going to be required. Did I leave in here somewhere? One's an organizational report, and the other is a confidential that shows a bank bank account. If anybody's interested in forming the pack, either for or against, you'll need the, these forms. These at least these two forms. Now, the city, it's my understanding. I need to when I was talking to them. If the city, as long as the city stays. For pro and con, <coughs> there's no forms for the city to fill out. But if the city goes for or the city goes against, then there's forms to fill out. But I was told that the city's going to sort of stay pro and con on the on the, as it goes through. But anybody else that wants to go for or against, it has to require to do a, a pack. And this lady in Raleigh will be able to tell you exactly what what forms. These are only two basic forms. You know, there's more forms to fill out. If you take the position with regard to forming the pack, if, yeah. if, the if, the wants to form it. Wants if the city itself, if the city itself wants to form it, wants to take a position, publicly yeah. yeah. supportive. Yeah, the city wants to support it, or the city wants to go against it, then they have to do paperwork. Right. If the city's position is the meetings they have is show both sides, then there is no paperwork. <coughs> But there is paperwork if anybody goes to the for side or anybody goes against the against side. There, there's campaign papers have to be filled out. If there's going to be money raised. Yeah, if there's money Well, that's the question. If there's going to be money. If there's going to be money raised. If you need a pack to begin with. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. the clarification. Yeah. 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 yeah, I left that. That's an important part there. Yeah. So this covers the money involved in, this, in the whole thing. So people can make statements whether they're supported at or against it. Yeah, you, you, but you start as long as you're raising speech, money, yeah. you don't have to fill it. Yeah, more. Well, raise money involved, raise money or spending money. Now we could get into an interesting discussion of the Citizens United opinion and how this might affect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's not do that. Yeah. Let's not do email in those forms. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, it's going to be different forms for the city. Okay. Yeah. So if, if you want to call them, 
just to make sure that sometimes just relay the information. That's why I give you her number. It's best to get her straight from the horse's mouth. And sometimes the state board, you know, by law, they have to make rules as they go along. And this, this may be one of those times mm -hmm. that the state board has to make some rules to go along with some of these things, like doing a lot of elections. Well, and this is not an, a, a, an ordinary election for them or no. for us or for anybody, so they may, yeah. they may be feeling themselves along just like we are. Yeah. The main thing that comes to spending money <coughs> is you have to account where it comes from and where it goes. That's, that's the biggest thing. All right, anything else we need to do about the Hickory special election, Larry? No, not really. All right, has anybody else got any comments or questions about anything procedurally having to do with the election? Just to be clear, do you think the, as far as the ballot approval is going to take place in the next couple of days or so? That is what we assume. Uh, it might be more than a couple of days, but... It'll I be a can, few days. Yeah, a few I, days. I, I, I've got some emails, so I can shoot you, send you a copy. Okay. They know we'll need it fast so we can go ahead and order ballots to be printed. Mm -hmm. So it's, they're not going to sit on it. I mean, they're working on ballots right now for November, but they'll, they'll put this in the front since you know, this election's come for November's election. Other than that, the city has no other legal requirements at this time to fulfill, right? As far as we have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? If not, we're going to go on and talk about last Tuesday's election, which you all are welcome to stay for. Mm -hmm. well, one thing that may be interesting is there's no business election. We did get approval. The county didn't give me money yesterday for the site in Hickory. So the board needs, we need to, to meet and discuss that one stop voting. And I was, we need to do it the week of August the 6th. The one stop plan has to be in Raleigh by the 10th. So we can meet sometime the week of August the sixth, and we That's usually meet on. Yeah, we usually meet on Tuesday mornings. It might be good just to keep it that if it works for everybody, just because that's the day we usually meet. So it would confuse people less if we met yeah. on that Tuesday, eight fifteen. Yeah, that would be the seventh. Is that mm -hmm. you might know why that wouldn't be? I, good. Yeah, I think that'll work. For me. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be a meeting specifically to. We can do any other business we need to, but specifically to talk about one early stop. voting plan for, for the yeah. November election. Yeah. So this this one involves the uh, okay. special election. No, this is for. I think some of you might be interested in coming to that meeting. For Just because it involves the fact that we're now going to have a Hickory site, in addition to the Newton site. We'll be discussing the hours of that site, days of the week, for for the November election. Right. Actually, we'll be discussing both sites then. Newton and Hickory. Yeah. As far as financial arrangements for the Hickory special election. Paying. For paying for that who, early voting site. Yeah, who does the contact? You'll contact our right. Normally, people after, after the election, we'll get okay. all the bills together, so, and okay. office staff will send it to somebody in here. I don't know who she sends it to, but and we estimate it's somewhere around forty thousand dollars. Okay. Give, give or take. That's just an estimate. Thank you. Thank you very much. You so we will meet on November 8th at 8.15. Mm -hmm. August. August. The 7th. August 7th. Besides that, your statement was correct. <laughs> August 7th. <seven. laughs> and that, that will do everything for the, for the, for the Hickory election. So, like I said, here, you know, we got to go through this. I would just want to ask you one question. You said that the registration numbers have fallen to 24,800 or something or whatever. Is that because people have left the area or what reason why would, would they? They have, have fall, they I don't know. Over 800 I don't, I don't people think fell of that. I think that's just the number. The I know, but we had talked out. about that we needed 25,544, 10% of that to achieve the threshold for this petition so that that was based on mm -hmm. the registered numbers and generally you know, saying it's that's 20, January the first number okay all, all petitions but it's are fallen based on 800. January the first no, that was you. risen but it's fallen 800 no. and some. it's up to 26,744 around okay. this morning so it's up okay. in the 25 whatever it was okay. the first of the year okay on July the 9th the total was 26,264 Today it's twenty six thousand seven hundred and forty four. So you're gonna 
you'll see those numbers creep up. So okay, I got you. Particularly as we get closer to November, people okay. are registered so they can vote for president. <coughs> we're still taking out people that's moved out of the city, people that has died, and people that have moved into the city. Right. So all that will take place up until the books close on August the 24th. Okay. So the numbers actually have gone up? Yes. Okay. I was understanding. Yeah. Okay. And normally this presidential year, <clears throat> four years ago, we had some 13,000 new registrations that year. And we had about 14,000 address changes and party changes, things of that nature. Vice president. So we're going to see a several thousand increase in the, in the total county during the presidential election. But the 24th is the day the books close, so if anybody's doing registration drives, try to, we got to have those forms by the 24th at 5 o'clock. August the 24th? August 24th. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. If there's any other questions come up on this pick election, you know, by all means, give us a call or the November election. So we're running both of them at the same time, and hopefully we'll finish up the second primary today. Yeah. So hopefully we get one of the three. One down, two to go. Right. <laughs> Do call us if you have any questions. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.